My name is Charlie Uruchima. I am co-founder and producer of Quichua Hatari, and I did the Siko summer program in 2013. Quichua is most likely referred to as the indigenous language of the Andes spoken in Ecuador, but it comes from this larger family of Quechua. Quechua was the lingua franca of the Incan Empire 500 years ago, and it was the most widely spoken language in all of the region. It's been quickly sort of fading, but there's been an emergence of a lot of like especially youth now doing a lot of work with the language. The identity is it's much more than just being like a Latino or, or Hispanic. It's like being indigenous, having our own language that's older than Spanish in the region. You know, we were there before the Spanish came, you know, and we've had to resist and we've survived this long, so why can't we take ownership of it? And that's really what the project has become. This has been around since July 2014. It is a community initiative. That's what I like to Richard as. When I started my master's program at NYU, I really wanted to find out where the community was, who its leaders are, if there are any, like what kind of sense of community exists. And uh, I quickly realized there was none. Quichua Hatare has opened this space, this very unique space, where Quichua is spoken, you know, in a radio, among its colleagues, among people who have come to find out more about the program. Now we're doing Quichua Hatari TV and BronxNet Community Network. We're also collaborating on a workshop series at CUNY uh, focused on indigenous migration. It's really, it's what the community wants it to be at the end of the day. We're trying to really like reconceptualize what that gaze is of like the indig of indigenous people. When we think of indigenous people, you know, I think a lot of times, especially here growing up in the U.S., you think of like people with like feathers and like, you know, their ponchos, you know, long hair. And because we're here in New York City, we're in New York, you know, we can take up any forms that we want. We're like urban, urban Indians. The advice I would give to someone who wants to start their community initiative would be work with the community. Really, that's how this started. It was like, what do you guys want to see? Like, if you do you want to see a space, you know, or, or tall Quichua, this is a unique space. You know, it just happened that it was the first. It's the first time Quichua radio has ever been done in, in the U.S. You know, we didn't do it because we wanted to be the first in something. We did it because we thought the space was necessary. In the title, Kichwa Hatari, Hatari means lift, to lift up.